Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday, the 24th of March 2015. Starting off in the five minute chart, uh, you can see there we've got a signal. This is before the market, and the reason for this, of course, is with having the PTIs, we don't want to trade during the quiet afternoon session. You can see there why. Uh, and also, this is, seems to be affecting the PTPs and triple X's now. This is how the markets have changed over the last two months. We've had years of the same pattern, but for the last two months, the market appears to have changed uh, dramatically from the beginning of January. The reason for this, I do not know, but uh, one thing I do know, it's certainly changed, and you can see this through this sideways uh, range. In fact, sideways uh, for the whole of the session until we got to uh, the end when we saw the market uh, drop off there. So this uh, new pattern in the market is the reason why I developed the PTIs and again you can see there the market stick into these like magnets and just like glue I mean it's quite incredible that's a, a brilliant uh, uh, display yesterday of the psychological levels driving through trading up then coming back going all the way back and then coming back through uh, eventually before the close there so the the PTPs and uh, the triple X's which we've always traded in uh, the whole session from 2.30 to 9pm or to around uh, 8pm obviously to give you that uh, last hour uh, I've always traded with the primary trade times of uh, 2.30 to 8.30ish uh, but you can see here how the markets uh, change at the moment and during the afternoon session when the traders go off for lunch how the market barely moved and this was just uh, one of those days yesterday where they even I think cleared off early within the first hour and then nothing for the remainder of the session also uh, you'll notice here the market closing back and uh, then the market uh, falling off sharply and there's no PTI signal uh, I've just discovered that uh, there could be a small bug in the software and uh, if I just uh, mark up the you'll see the actual signal appear there. So I've passed this on to the programmer to actually sort. So this trade here uh, went on to make uh, a lot of uh, points, again using those psychological levels, where as you can see the PTPs and the triple X's uh, didn't do much yesterday because it was so sideways, whereas breaking the psychological levels, you can see the difference as market traded down 50 points there and then down 100 uh, just before the close. So I'll get this sorted for you and then obviously we'll release an update to make sure that uh, the signals appear where they should because uh, as I say yesterday this is a great trade to finish off the day even though we've got the lacklustre sideways move for most of the or three quarters of uh, the session beforehand. In the daily charts uh, you can see the market coming off the highs there yesterday stuck below the 76% retracement which is interesting the market managing to trade above it got to Friday's high and then uh, as we saw there, the, I think it's the 18,200 level uh, it is, and then we saw prices uh, coming off just before the close. The market this morning finding some support there. In the news today, let's have a look see what we've got after 1.30, uh, 1.45 flash manufacturing PMI from the US forecast to come out more or less the same, and new home sales uh, also uh, slightly lower at uh, 2 p.m. there. On the implied volatility front, uh, 10.93 for uh, Friday. Let's have a look, refresh, and see what we had on Monday. And on Monday, up uh, to 11.34 as the market uh, sold off before the uh, close of trade there. So up slightly. And again, you can see that in the chart. We need the blue uh, historical line below the yellow one before we really get a big correction in this market, though. So uh, again, the right side of uh, the implied volatility want it down as low as, uh, as, low as possible uh, before the next correction so the market does remain long at the moment and again I would uh, expect once the 76% retracement is taken out in the daily chart we go on to see the 18,280 uh, uh, level which is the all-time high taken out or at least uh, hit uh, over the next uh, few days and uh, weeks Right, that's it uh, for me for today. I will see you in tomorrow's edition of the Market Alert. As ever, thank you for your support. Very much appreciated. And as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.